William Bradford, uh, particularly growing up as a teenager in the uh, Pilgrim movement, uh, joining the separatist movement when he was about 12 or 13 years of age, and then coming over here in America at 30 years of age, becoming a governor after John Carver died. William Bradford truly uh, had the spirit of uh, John Robinson, the tenor, uh, the uh, condition. He ruled with a firm hand, but he was very, very gentle in the way he came across. And I think William Bradford, the idea of being a, uh, embodied in the pilgrim idea was that if individuals can trust the messenger, they might be able to listen to the message. And therefore you kept your word. You were a, someone who was an example of a believer. William Bradford actually held as a governor a reconciliation service on Cape Cod based on how previous uh, white uh, traders had mistreated the Indians. Uh, he was an individual that uh, really gave a tenor for evangelism through example. I think that uh, when John Winthrop comes after he's writing his model of Christian charity, which really emphasizes the fact that you have, when you have a right relationship with God, then God will be pleased to make even your enemies agree with you. Uh, when you don't follow the covenant that God has with you, when you are disobedient, then you can't expect other people to be drawn to you and drawn to Christ. So you had the city on a hill concept in the model of Christian charity that John Winthrop wrote on board the Albella, probably wrote it actually before the journey took place. Uh, so you have these individuals who are shining examples. Now you come to Oliver Cromwell in England in the Puritan Civil War. You have an individual who, not a theologian, not an individual who is known for his writings about Christianity, but one who wanted to take action. And I think when you look at those three, you can see Oliver Cromwell, the outward individual taking action directly, and of course, ending up leading the forces in the Civil War of the Puritans uh, against the tyranny of Charles. Uh, you can see in these ideas several things for evangelism today. Seeds were laid that first and foremost, if Christians don't live the Christian faith and actually model it to their neighbors, their message will not be received as anything unusual since they'll be lumped in doing the same things everybody else does. I think that's the first seed. I think the second one is if Christians sit back and do nothing, take no initiative to share the gospel with those that don't know the Lord, take no initiative to speak up when asked and to speak up about Christianity and its reign or taking action like the seed of Oliver Cromwell, we're going to have a very passive uh, Christian population. And I think it's the neglect of understanding our history with someone like a William Bradford, uh, who, who believed the pilgrims were like one small candle that could light a thousand. And a John Winthrop who believed you could become a city set on a hill. And like an Oliver Cromwell who believed no one should just sit back and do absolutely nothing. I think it's because we've lost our history and lost our heritage that American believers today don't look back and see these heroes as examples for uh, strong Christian testimony.